All right, everybody, I'm going to be doing a little demonstration today to show you another property of air. And this one's called Bernoulli's Principle. So I'm not going to tell you exactly what it's about at this point. We're going to do the demonstration. You're going to observe and then we'll, we're going to try to create a conclusion that explains why what happened actually happened. So it's very simple. I've got a candle here. I've got a little round cylinder, a little cookie jar and I've got a straw. So you can imagine what would happen if I just blew straight at the candle. It would blow out the candle, but I'm going to do the same thing with this cookie jar in between myself and the candle, okay? So here we go. First, uh, maybe this is where the straw is gonna be pointing, right at the cylinder. Um, make a quick prediction, we'll pause the video as to what you think will happen. All right, welcome back. Let's give this a try. Here we go. <laughs> Take two. You observed that the candle was blown out. So now, comes to the point where we try to explain why did this happen? Why with the cylinder in between did the candle still get blown out? Bernoulli's principle states that faster moving air creates lower pressure. Therefore, air that's moving slower or not moving at all would have higher pressure. In this diagram from overhead, you could see the green arrow symbolize the faster moving air, the air that was being blown. And the air outside of that was not moving at all and therefore had a higher pressure which pushed in on the moving air, making it hug the cylinder, follow its contours until it uh, blew out the candle on the other side. 